Hey there. So, a few years ago, I believe it was two, I visited this particular Matrix Online emulator, Hardline Dreams. And since then, looks like they've done some updates and it looks like the installation method has changed a bit. So, let's go through and figure out how to install this together. I have not installed this since. I'm going to install it as I record, figure out if anything happens that's bad, and take it from there. So I will put a link to this website in the description so you can start at the same point where I am. This is going to be a longer video, but it's just going to be the install. I don't know how long it's going to be because, like I said, if any bugs come up, we're going to have to quash those before we go any further, but uh, we'll do that. So it looks like the last official update was November 19th, 2018, where there were some bug fixes on the server, and it looks like there's more things to do, so that's awesome. So let's click here on Read More, and this gives us a direction to the install. Brings up this page where it says... No, it doesn't. Is it here? Or does that start the download? No, that's it. All right, so click on, click here where it says download Hardline Dreams. And you will have to create an account or log in if you already have one. But if you already have one, you're probably not watching this video. So you can put in a username, a password, and an email address, and then click client download here. Now I've already done this and the download did take a slightly longer amount of time for the size that it was than I thought it was going to take, but I've got it downloaded. I've already created my account. So we've got it right here. Now this matrix online HD S is about 1.5 gig. I think I extracted that out at 1.5 gig. So it took about nine minutes for me to download it, which was a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take, but it did. So we've got to roll with that. All right, so we'll fire up the install. I'm gonna get a protection warning telling me that an unrecognized app was running. More info, run anyway. And if my system dies, that's why. I have to pick a language. Looks like we've got English. And that one. So two languages. Ask where we want to put it. I'm throwing it on my D drive. You can pick whatever drive is appropriate to you. And uh, you can change that if you want to, but I'm not going to because it's easily identifiable as this application if I want to get rid of it in the future. And you do need to have six gig free on the drive you're installing to, apparently. We're going to create a desktop shortcut. Because that reminds me in those periods where I need to uninstall something that I have to uninstall it. And my D drive is a conventional hard drive, so this is going to take probably longer than it would if you had an SSD, but it shouldn't take very long at all. Now, since we're doing the install video, tomorrow we will probably do a video on actually logging into the server. I just want to make sure we can get to the actual login screen. And if any difficulties occur after that, you'll see those in the next video. But it's been two years. This has changed drastically from what it was before. So this may make a big difference. Now keep in mind that I may have things on my computer that you don't have on yours. If you have any issues, you can Mention them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best I can. But as always, your best resource for assistance is probably in these cases going to be the support forums for the game itself, which you can get to from the menu 
off of the link I'm posting in the, in the description down below. Anyway, this should get you going. And hopefully we don't have any problems. But if we do, we'll figure it out. I think last time I just set compatibility mode, but I don't remember. I haven't watched that video in a long time either, so I don't know which it was. But we'll see. And I'm doing this install in real time so that you can get a sense as to about how long it should take for the install to occur. Even though I was very tempted to speed it up, I don't think that's always the most practical information to give you. Now we're getting some sound files. And I may actually have to mute desktop sounds here in a minute, depending on how it starts up. And if the game does happen to start up with some kind of music, well, I'm going to be quiet so that I can silence it if we have to. Okay, we've reached the end of the install. I have a checkbox to launch it and a finish button. Pretty simple stuff. Leave that checked if you want to launch it right now. Click finish. And now I got an error message. Create process failed. Code 740. Requested operation requires elevation. So let's just try to run it. It's a good first step. All right. So let's start the game and now it's going to download some patch files. And now it's going to give us our login and do a patch full check. So let's put in our ID, put in our password. And we're going to be authenticated, hopefully. I just created my account, so I don't know if there's a delay between when it creates the accounts and when you can log in. But I don't think there should be. Also, there were zero people online, so I don't know if the server is even operational. But we will find out. This is not promising with the authenticating. So when this is on, the patching system validates all the files to make sure that they are real. We're going to leave it off. that we're on let's look at patch notes and see if there's anything in there nope development notes no post announcements no post Concept art. Oh, server files. So we'll take a look at these maybe someday and set up our own server if this doesn't work. Source code is available. That's good to see. Different tools. A 
awesome. We're still authenticating, so the server may be down. Let's just take a look at the website while it's doing its thing. Got that on the blog. Huh, there we go. Now it's letting you select it. November 19th, 2018. Out. Does that give us any useful information? It says still under active development, but We are not able to authenticate. So either my account hasn't been created in enough time or the server's down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look into this further and see if it's still operational. But I wanted to make a video on how to install the client. I just wish we would have been able to have a successful login. Last post, 20, it's not encouraging. 2010, looks like the last post. It's 2011s and 2016, that's good. A lot of views on some of these at least. Well, looks like they're still asking if people are there and asking if the server's up. And that was from 2017. No, nope. doesn't look like we're getting in. All right, I'll keep looking into this and find out. But that's how you do the install. If we can actually get into their server or if I can download the server files and run my own, we'll do that so that you can see it operational and see what's going on. But I'm gonna end this now because I really didn't wanna make it a very long video, but I did wanna show you how to do that. We did get an error message. However, exiting the installer and running it seems to have fixed the error message at least. Although now we're stuck at authenticating, so we're actually trying to supply information to something. I'll check the log files and find out what happened. Anyway, I'm gonna end it now, get it uploaded so that you guys can see it. Uh, this is the install video, the gameplay video should follow if everything is still running. If not, I'll come back and I'll notate in here that I was never able to get in. So we'll take that as it goes. Anyway, I'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching. And like I said, it's been like two years since I visited this place. So it's very possible that uh, the server doesn't exist anymore. But we'll see. There is another Matrix emulator. Uh, I was going to do that one as well, but this one seems to have had more development more recently than the other one had. Although neither of them is terribly recent. And we'll see where they are but uh, this one's been going on since 2010 so i can't imagine somebody taking nine years of their life and work and just not continuing with it that'd be a real blow to somebody so we'll pursue it see where we go with it i'll keep you guys posted
Thanks for watching.